Does scrub ombre work with dip liquids as well as it does with gel liquids? What's up, nail crew? It's Nicole, your fellow nail obsessed DIYer, and we are testing out some more manis with dip liquids that I've done with gel liquids. Today, we're gonna use this fun little sponge brush that I got off Amazon, and we are gonna figure out if I can scrub the black, a little stitches, the black dip powder, into this gorgeous pink foil mani with dip liquids, just like I did using gels a couple months ago, and see if it works for all of my friends out there who can't use gels. Now I'm doing it in a very similar fashion that I did my gel mani. I'm going to dip the color. I used a purple foil on the last one for Halloween and this time I'm using this gorgeous pink foil. It's this bright pink with black foils and I thought oh my gosh I can do this for like kind of like an anti-valentine. It's kind of like a dark moody valentine's mani since it's about to be well it's like another month till valentine's day. At the time I'm filming this but I want to see if this would work. So I laid my nail into the flat into the foils and gave it a couple seconds to dry because it's not like when you're using gels and you cure something and you know like your nail is fully cured like once once it comes out of the lamp. I dipped my little sponge brush into the black dip a little stitches and wanted to see how do I have to scrub gently? Do I have to scrub hard? How am I going to scrub this in? Is it going to make a mess? Well, like spoiler alert, <laughs> it's going to make a mess. So I lay my nail flat into the pink again on my pointer finger and my thumb went really well. So I was like feeling pretty high hopes. Like, okay, this is going really well. I've scrubbed with like a regular eyeshadow brush, but I'll see how this works with this little sponge. And I started just kind of pressing down. I don't know if I put too much liquid on my pointer finger, but it, the black wasn't scrubbing in quite as nicely. It was working, but it wasn't scrubbing in quite as well. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna let that dry. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna brush it off. I'm gonna keep moving to my next hand and my next finger and see how it goes. So <laughs> this is the finger where everything gets a mess. First, I put a lot more foils on my middle finger than I did, ended up doing onto my other fingers. So I feel like that just like made it look a little bit unbalanced compared to all my other ones. I don't know, I just did a really good, I did a really good job picking up the foils. And I really wanted to do, like I like to pick up a lot of foils on all my nails, but for some reason I just ended up picking it up really well on my middle finger. I'm trying to scrub the black powder in and it's almost like not chunking up, but I realized that my I must have put too much liquid on my middle finger. So I try to brush it off and it ends up blending in the black powder back into my nail. And I was like, ah, dang it. At this point, there was nothing I could do. I had already blended it into my middle finger nail. So that nail ends up looking darker than all the rest of them. And I went back to my pointer finger and I was like, okay, let's see if I can scrub a little bit more in now that it's really dry. And it ended up working better once it was like considerably more dry. So that was something I learned doing the dip liquids. If you're gonna scrub with this little sponge, you wanna make sure that your nail is pretty darn dry before you try to scrub a dark color in, or else you're gonna end up doing what I did and <laughs> bleeding your dark color into the rest of your light color. So you can see like comparing the pointer finger to the middle finger like there's a pretty big difference on how dark the middle finger is you know I just went with it I've said this a bunch of times I am a DIYer I'm doing these at home for fun like I just love doing my nails if they don't turn out exactly how I want you know oh well like it happens <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun enjoy a nice hobby and have pretty nails so I kept going on my other nails I went to my ring finger and like remembered okay I'm not gonna do what I did on my left hand I'm gonna try to make sure that my ring finger and my pinky wasn't I definitely did not let my ring finger dry as much I was really really careful about scrubbing it in that I wasn't pressing down too hard and that's something that I noticed with these little sponge applicators you do not want to press down super hard if you press down super hard you will peel up part of your dip that you're scrubbing into. It's not like when you're using gels. So when you're using gels, everything is so set because you've fully cured it that you can like scrub decently hard on it. And it's not going, I mean, you don't want to like, you know, scrub so much that it like somehow yanks the gel off too. But when you're scrubbing 
into your nail with the dip powders, you definitely want to be a little bit more gentle than you are when you're using gels. And I decided to do a second layer of all of this. Like the first layer, it works, but anytime I'm scrubbing, I've noticed it works really well. If you do two layers, it just gives you more of like more depth in your mani. I don't even know if that's the right way to explain it, but that's how I ended up going through and I dipped all my nails with another layer of this pink. Make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna be trying to do a bunch of manis this year where I use dip liquids instead of gel liquids but achieve the same effect. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those. For all of my friends who want to use gels but can't or just like using both like I do, I really like using both gels and dip liquids. I was trying to be really careful in the second layer going through and really making sure it was more dry before I started scrubbing everything in. So you can see like on my middle, my poor, my poor middle finger, like it's already so much darker. I love the color that it turned out when it was darker, like adding a little bit of like the black powder that got kind of contaminated in there but it did not match the rest of my nails. It's okay though. I just, I love the, I love pink and black. I feel like it's kind of like a fun punk, cool like way to way to do valentine's day or pretty much anytime i just i don't know i really enjoy pink and black together oh, i i think it's my favorite colors pink and black are my two favorite colors so anytime you see me wearing pink and black you know i'm going to be really really happy with the manny now since i messed up that middle finger and contaminated it what i ended up trying to do a little bit was i tried to like contaminate my other fingers a little just so that they would look a little bit darker and not be so light compared to my middle finger I did like an okay job with it, but it's so funny because now that I was like trying to contaminate it, of course it stayed lighter pink and and did not contaminate like the other ones. Anytime I do any kind of ombres, I make sure that I really cover the color with clear powder. You want to make you want to make sure it is totally encapsulated because once you go and activate, especially if you're using foils, which these are, they can bleed. So here you can see that my foils aren't bleeding because I made sure that they were really dry and encapsulated them with enough clear powder to keep them from bleeding when you activate. That's one of the ways people typically get bleeding is either with you're dragging the dip base too hard over your foils, not letting it dry, or when you do the activator, you didn't encapsulate enough and then all your foils bleed. After you're done activating, you wanna make sure that your nails harden before you buff, file, and shape. That is super, super important because if you try to buff and shape before your nails are hard, you will end up like buffing and filing off half of your mani. If you watch this and you're like, oh, Nicole, I am not ready to start ombre or doing scrubs, then check out this next tutorial on how to do basic dip mayonnaise. Thanks so much for joining me today, Nail Crew.